Hey guys, this is Monica with the Romeo Plans and today I'm going to set up my January budget in my new budget planner and I'm super excited to go ahead and get started with this planner. This is going to be in two separate videos just so the videos aren't super long. In today's video we're going to be setting up the monthly view, the dashboard page, and also the monthly budget. And I am using this year I am using just the pages that come after the divider. I really like the idea of that and not having this page be with this month. I like having all of my information after my divider. So I'm using this page for my financial goals. I am still just going through my Moxie life and really narrowing down what my financial goals are. So this is not filled out yet because I am just still going through that. So just like last year, I am using a compliment card and coil clip on the monthly view. I did print off the expense trackers. Um, everything but the gray one is in my shop. I am going to be adding the gray one to my shop at some point, um, but I'm not sure the time frame on that. And I just printed out, typed in what the categories are. I like these because these are on removable sticker paper and so they're neat. But if I need to change a category within the year, I can just remove the sticker and then put a new one down. So I am going to be using the stickers from my shop. And I'm super excited because in December, I used some of the stickers from my shop, but I kind of was going with my regular layout that I was doing. But these are all from my shop. This is the monthly view with the Sunday star the dashboard kit this is new in my shop and then I also have the paycheck budget as well because one change that we are making for 2021 is that we are going to paycheck budgeting we both get paid on the same day and it's every other week so we've so we've done a monthly budget but each time we get paid we basically budget off that paycheck and so it really just makes sense for us to go ahead and budget the paycheck and move to that paycheck budgeting. And so I'm going to be trying that out and I'm super excited about it. I just think it's going to be a, a lot easier. This is the January kit in my shop. And I just love these purple colors. Purple is one of my favorite colors. So I just love that purple and black. Let's see. There we go. So that is all set up. I'm not going to do the date dots. I don't typically do date dots in my monthly view. And then. I'm not going to do the washi at the bottom because this is the neutral planner so it doesn't have that line at the bottom so it just I kind of like just this clean look that it has and this is the only thing that I'm going to be doing right now for my monthly view. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is this dashboard page and I did this dashboard kit and I formatted it to where it should fit within the month, the neutral or the colorful planner. So with the layers design, you do kind of have that a little bit behind it, but that's fine. And then I have these where you can put it here. Or it has the two pieces of skinny washi if you want to go ahead and put that and cover up this line with the skinny washi. The colorful version, it's more of a, it has, for, with the colorful version, it has like the layers actually in there. So that's kind of why these are there. But with the neutral, you just have that line. And then I'm just going to cover up these dots. Just 
just to give it a little bit more cohesive look. So I am gonna put goals up here. I am still working out on my January goals. And then in this area, I'm just gonna put this don't forget here. So this year I'm going to use this area as an inspirational quote, just something to kind of give me some inspiration as the month goes on. So to this month I'm going to do So this says focus on the possibilities for success, not the potential for failure. I really like that for going into a new year. 2020 has been kind of a crazy year all around. And so I really want to just focus on the possibilities of for success with everything and not the potential for failure as we go into the new year and our goals and everything there. So I am going to go ahead and put this box down. Since we have more pages. If you've watched any of my previous weekly check-ins, you know that I have been doing my weekly check-in right here in this spot. So since we have more pages, I have a spot in the month to do that. So, so this box, I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing, but I'm going to use this box as kind of a reflection spot. So I'm going to put like my wins for the month, how it could have been better and everything that way. So I can just have notes on not only what my budget was and what my tracking was and everything, but what did we do well? What did we do so well on and how to make adjustments for the next month? And then in this box, I'm going to just put birthdays because we do have a couple of birthdays coming up. So on the 11th, we have my husband's birthday. And then on the 24th, we have my grandma's. Those are birthdays that we will be spending money on. So we may have other birthdays that we, we may have other friends or anything that have birthdays this month, but th these are the ones that we will be buying a gift or anything like that. So I wanna go ahead and notate that here. So that is my dashboard page. And in these next two pages, I'm gonna have my budget. So I am gonna go ahead and just take this out because I like to have it as flat as possible. And all of my budgeting kits come with this sheet of washi. So it comes with three pieces of thick washi, three pieces of thin washi, and that way you can print it off as many times as you want for what you need. So then we're just gonna put this here. And then the first thing that I track is my income. So we track my income, my husband's income. We are gonna track a rollover amount and then miscellaneous amount. And miscellaneous, that could be revenue from my Etsy shop. It could also be just any like returns or anything like that. You know, if we ever do get a stimulus check, 
that would be in miscellaneous. So pretty much anything that's not rollover or part of my or my husband's full-time job. So I want to go ahead and draw lines. It just helps me to be as straight as possible. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this balloon washi here. One other change that I'm going to make is that since we are doing paycheck budgeting, we are not going to be doing budgeting by categories anymore. So we're just going to have a list of expenses. And then But then I'm going to like list them with like the categories that they're in. So if I ever want to calculate that, it's easier for me to calculate because they'll be close together. So the first thing that we have is our cell phone. And then we have our electric. And then we have HBO. And then we have Prudential. And Travelers. And then moving to what we do for debt, we have our Discover and then Linkey, which is my student loans. And then we have our extra debt payment, which goes towards our Discover. And then we have eating out. Gas. Giving. We have groceries. And then we have allowances. And then sinking funds. And unbudgeted. So I'm just going to put this down here. And then I will draw my lines. So with the cell phone, we are budgeting $80. And then our electric bill, we are budgeting $90. HBO Max is $16.04. Prudential is $54.68. Travelers did go up a bit, so it is $130.83. That is our car insurance. Discover, we are doing $180 for the normal payment. And then Linkey is $367.03. Extra debt, we're doing 250. Eating out, we are doing a hundred dollars for the two weeks. Gas, we're doing a hundred dollars. Giving, we don't share what we do for giving. Groceries, we're doing 200. We do a hundred dollars a week for groceries. Allowances, um, that is 150, and that is allowances for both of us. And then sinking funds, we're doing $853. And then we don't budget anything for unbudgeted. So we don't budget anything for unbudgeted. So that is our budget for our first paycheck. Our 
our first paycheck is on the 8th of January. So we do have a little bit of time before this starts off, but I did want to go ahead and get the setup done for January. And then our second paycheck will go on this sheet. So that is it that we're going to do in this video. So that's going to be our budget. And then we have the dashboard page and then also the monthly view is all set up for January. And I'm glad to get, get all of that set up so we can start tracking expenses and things like that. I am just going to pop this back in here. So I like to leave that up a little bit so it acts as a bookmark as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I hope you all have a great day.